over here with shots today. Mid-March. I was in the Caribbean and there was a big ass snowstorm and uh, my dude ended up with a big mess on his hands so we're just over here <clears throat> making some brush piles burning shit up pretty good snowstorm huh that one there, man, that's the next one that's gonna split off. That one split there. That's deadly close to the house, dude. Well, that one's gonna fall. It's there. Okay, yeah. That's an American elm. They're rare. Dutch elm disease kind of wiped them all out. It's rare that I have that tree. But yeah, lots of stuff down, so we're just over here burning, burning brush and kind of cleaning up his yard here for him. Yeah, it was a rough end of February and beginning of March here in Michigan. At least the southeast part, I know up All north got... All the black walnuts, man. Yeah. Squirrel army, I haven't had to pick up none of them. Squirrels got their fill, huh? I don't even find them in the yard. They clean them up for me. So we got a lot of stuff cleaned up here at Eric's place. Got a nice fire going. The Outlander's another year older. Is that 2018? Uh, 2020. Oh. So, yeah, I think this is the third season for this thing. And I think next season I'm going to need some tires on it. I changed the, the engine oil on it last spring. I know I probably should just do it again. And I changed the, well, I changed the transmission. Did you? Yeah. Okay. Last year I went through and greased all the Zerk fittings. I mean, I found every freaking Zerk fitting on this thing, so now I know where they're all at. I can get right to those again. Mine needs everything. It's going to need every fluid change and a water pump probably this year. It's been a good quad. It has. The old Arctic Kitty. When are you going to finally retire this thing? Oh, come on. It's got life in it. The some shot. maintenance, but it'll go. Come on, man. Come on, man. It's time to get a new quad. It still cleans up nice. Need some work. Probably about. It's going to need tires. She does run good, but just seems like you ought to get a new quad, man. You've been talking about it for a while. Yeah. Prices go up every year. Well, that's another reason to get one this year. That it could be. What would you get? Polaris 650. No, they don't make 650. I'd have to go 850. Step up into the big boys. Big bore would be nice. I like the Can-Am that I bought. I, whether or not my next one will be a Can-Am or not, I don't know. Can-Am makes nice machines. It's definitely been a good machine. Really, the only thing that has happened to it is I've cracked a couple fenders, but that's ATV riding, really. Did you yeah, say? we need to invest in one of those plastic stitchers. I'll try to link the video that that dude. Did you watch that video? No. You did you send me that? I did send that to you. Basically, a plastic welder that you can uh, insert metal stitches on the backside, and it keeps the whole thing together. But really, the repair that I did on that fender is holding up pretty good with the epoxy and everything so but yeah this old beast is pretty much it's been everywhere we've taken this well we've taken both Michigan of these wise. Michigan the UP yep faux shizzle but yeah now this year we're talking about going to northern Minnesota 
That's why I think Eric ought to invest in a new quad, just to make sure that nothing happens. He's been talking about it for a long time. He wants to step into one of the big boys and the prices keep going up every year. And that's another reason just to get it out of the way now. Come on, Eric, let's go to the dealership and just see what's, just see what's there. Play the lottery tonight, see what I can get. <laughs> Come on, let's just check them out, you know? I mean, you never know what you might find. You might find a hell of a deal on, on the exact quad that you want. Go to Polaris, check out the strays, see if I can bring home one. You really want that Polaris, those sportsmans are nice, man. Come on, man, let's go to the dealership. Spend all my money. You can't take it with you. Yeah. I am check turning them out. 50, I guess I need one of those midlife crisis toys. That's a damn good idea. Holy shit, Shots, you finally went and did it. <laughs> I guess that didn't take very much talking into, did it? Not at all. So it ended up, we went to the dealership and I'll be damned if they didn't have the exact one Eric was looking for. Tell us about this thing. 2023 Sportsman 850 Ultimate Trail Edition. Very nice, man. 23 Sportsman 850. This thing is badass looking. It got a fat ass. Yeah, it's got a nice, it's got a nice money maker back here. It sits nice and wide. You just want to walk up and just uh, 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 smack it and throw fucking dollar bills at it, Eric. Yeah, every time you make that payment, just smack it on the ass. Uh, 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 throw that money at it. Come on, shots. The rear bumper protector. That's nice. Uh, yeah, I like the. I like the coating that they put on it. It's like a, almost like a rhino lining. It's a textured, uh, textured powder coating. The rack system seems to be pretty beefy. How comfortable would you say the seat is? Very comfortable. Yeah, it's a nice looking machine. All LED light. So the Outlander is not the new kid on the block anymore. <laughs> Eric's got the 23 Polaris Sportsman 850. Glad I talked him into that. Get a couple more years out of this uh, Outlander 570 and I'm gonna get myself a bigger machine and hang on to this one. Either make it just the workhorse around the yard or you know, have it as an extra for somebody. It's been a damn good machine. I'll probably get another Can-Am again in the future. Or he'll try to talk me into a Polaris. And I'll probably get on that thing and love everything about it. Hell yeah. All right, so it's been a productive day over here at Shots' place. Got a project quad that's going bye-bye. It's got the old Articat. That's either going to get sold and make somebody a proud owner of a uh, used Articat because this thing has been well taken care of and uh, really very lightly ridden. Eric procured this four-wheeler from a, uh, a group that was running a, a raffle for tickets and they didn't sell enough of the tickets to be able to give the machine away. So the person that was in charge of running the raffle put the word out that they had a four-wheeler for sale and they were able to sell it for dealer cost, I believe it was. So Eric picked it up uh, on the cheap. I think it's a 2008. And for really the beginning of its life, the first five or six years, he barely rode it. It was up at his uncle's place, which is quite a long ways from here, up in the new Baltimore area. And uh, was just kind of ridden around the property over to his uncle's place. So really wasn't until I got the 2020 Outlander couple years ago that we gave shots a call and said hey instead of doing our rustic camping trip that we always do uh, and wishing we had four-wheelers if I bought a four-wheeler would we have a way to get them up north because he already had his Articat so we ended up borrowing his brother's trailer which over the years turned into Eric finally purchasing a uh, the trailer that he wanted this is built uh, custom built length. I think he had a couple feet added to the middle. We got to do some moving of the cleats to widen them out for his ride. 
but this is all set up for different things that he wants to do as far as overland camping and being able to take his gear. So we're all set with the trailer and got a reliable quad still in my Can-Am. Now Eric's added the new guy on the block, the 23 Sportsman 850. Glad I was able to talk him into going to the dealership today. Yeah, so we got a lot accomplished today. Got a lot of Eric's yard cleaned up. About time to head home, get some dinner, get ready for another work week. But it's another work week closer to be able to getting up north and doing some riding. And that's what we're really hoping to do on this channel. We just, we've done so much camping over the years and I have so much footage of different places that we've been. And I just need to compile it all and make some videos and we're gonna to try to do some narration and tell you about the different places that we've been and what we think about the campgrounds and what we thought about the trails and just like everybody else's YouTube channels, right? But I don't know, so I needed to do something with the footage. So this is what we're gonna to try to do is a little YouTube channel thing. We like to do a lot of rustic camping. Uh, when we get out in the woods, we usually uh, seek out the tough places to camp the no water situation or uh, no electricity situation that's the type of camping we like to do we are known to stay in a lot of the state campground rustic sites as well and uh, make camp there but we uh, definitely do our fair share of uh, off the grid camping dispersed camping we, we take great advantage of the camping opportunities that the state of Michigan provides through the uh, dispersed camping program and utilize it anytime that we can but uh, yeah we're off to another year here 2023 is upon us and the 2023 riding season is here and uh, excited to get it going it's uh, you know this mid-march weather you never know what you're gonna get and with work schedules and stuff we're just waiting for everything to line up so we can get a good trip in up north. We're actually thinking we might make one run up to the Harrison area, possibly up to my property up in Houghton Lake, but one of the two and uh, get some uh, time broke in on his uh, new Polaris and just a shakedown. But before that, we'll have some spring training and we'll get here and get the 2022 power washed off and ready for 2023. Got to do a little bit of plastic welding on that uh, foot well extension right there and uh, just do a few things to get it ready for the season and we'll be ready to go start throwing some mud in 2023. Happy with your purchase Mr. Eric? Absolutely. It's a good looking quad dude. You, you do a lot of research on everything that you buy so I know that you made the right purchase and you got everything that you wanted with that four-wheeler so got six months to break something well hopefully nothing like that happens and nope. no broken ribs and no broken bones and we'll make it through it'll be a good 2023 so mm -hmm. all right so we're out of here for today we're gonna let march come in like a lion and leave like a friggin lamb hopefully or the other way around whatever it is but we made some progress got a nice trail going for him he can get back on the back side of his property and uh hope to see you on the trails yeah so here we go here's to 2023 we're gonna start putting some videos together with the different places that we've been so it'll be some older footage but it's all still really good high quality you know video that i took it's just a matter of piecing it all together but yeah that's what we're really looking to hope to do with whatever our channel becomes and uh if somebody can use the information then by golly pass it along questions so. comments are always welcome and smash that like button yeah smash that like button like they say next time we'll probably be over here doing like a spring cleaning i'm gonna get 2022 washed off the can-am get everything greased up eric's gonna go through and tighten up everything the dealer missed on prepping his quad i guess i'm gonna head back home and get some dinner got a nice fire burning off in the distance there and we've made an introduction of the new 2023 Sportsman Ultimate 850. Get out there and tear it up on the trail. Anything else you want to add before we uh, before we call it a day here? Let her rip. My man. All right, man. I'll talk to you later.